Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to include hyperlinks in JSON output delivered by Oracle REST Data Services. Including links is a good way to make web services self-documenting and help navigation between services. In this video, we'll focus on how to include additional links in the service output. We won't be building the additional services to manage these new endpoints. If you're interested in doing that too, take a look at the article linked in the description box which contains more complete examples. We create a test user called test user1 and grant it the create session and create table privileges. We connect to the new user and create the emp table. We insert the usual data, then we can set up some services to demonstrate the hyperlink functionality. We enable ORDS for the test user 1 schema and assign the base path of HR. This is a schema alias used in the web service URLs which lets ORDS know it's dealing with objects in the test user 1 schema. We define a basic service with a HTTP GET handler. The source type associates an SQL statement with the handler. The SQL displays some information about employees. It's been limited to department 10 to reduce the output size. The service is called using the HR schema alias, module base path and employees template pattern. In addition to the employee information, there are default links produced. A self link giving the URL of this web service and a described by link to the metadata catalog for this service. In this service we include a new column in the select list. We reference the empno column and give it a column alias of $self. We could use the $.id alias to get the same result. Using a dollar in the column alias tells ORDS this is a hyperlink. The value of the empno column will be appended to the current URL to define a self link for each item returned by the service call. This represents a link directly to the item of interest rather than returning all items. When we run this we can see the new links section has been added to each item containing a self link using the empno value in the URL. Remember this is just a link, it isn't automatically defining the new endpoint. If you want the links to work you'll have to build a handler for this pattern. Notice we still get the default links for this service. We can deal with concatenated keys by referencing multiple columns with the $ID alias. In this example, let's pretend the primary key for the table is made up of the EMPNO and ENAME columns. We add two extra columns. The first is EMPNO alias to $.ID and the second is ENAME alias to $.ID also. These will be concatenated into a comma separated list and appended to the current URL to form a self link. As expected, when we run this we get the self link for each item ending in the EMPNO and ENAME values separated by a comma. In this example we have a single column self link but we also include a relative link with an alias of dollar $department to the department service. We use dot dot slash to step back one level in the path, add in the department's path and include the department number in the URL. Relative links make it easy to jump between different modules and templates in the same ORDS installation. We can use this type of ancestral path or use the caret symbol in a caret slash path to make URLs relative to the schema alias. When we run this we see the self link and a departments link to a departments web service for the specified department number. It's possible you'll want to link to URLs external to the current ORDS installation. Here we add a normal self link and build a full URL to an external service giving it an alias of $external. We could give it any alias provided it had a dollar as the prefix. This could easily be sourced from a column value rather than hard coded. When we run this we see the normal self link for each item and the external link with the EMPNO parameter tagged on the end. As mentioned previously if you build the services to handle these additional hyperlinks you can make navigation between your various services much simpler as you're always returning relevant links. You could also include links to the catalog and documentation information making them self-documenting. 
Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.